Exciting news, last night President Trump said that the second stimulus check could be way higher than $1,200. I'll go into the details of exactly what he said and how much the second stimulus check could be, how much higher. Then I'll go into the negotiations, what's currently happening with the second stimulus check, and the exact date of when you could expect to get a second stimulus check. And then I'll go over some other updates and answer your questions that you have about the next stimulus package. But first, right before I was about to film this video, some big news came out. Former GOP presidential candidate Herman Cain passed away from the coronavirus just this morning at age 74. He attended the Trump rally in Tulsa, Oklahoma, less than two weeks before receiving his diagnosis. Also, in terms of COVID cases that are going on, it looks like we are past the record highs in terms of national, in terms of cases per day, but there are still some states that are receiving record highs on a daily basis, on a recurring basis. So this could be one of the key indicators that we would need a higher stimulus check than $1,200. Another factor that could make the second stimulus check higher is unemployment claims has just risen for the second week in a row. So if we look at the chart, it's actually 1.4 million people filed for unemployment claims, which is uh, 12,000 more than the prior week. And if we look at the chart, we see this is where the peak was, and then it went down a little bit. And now these past two weeks are actually starting to increase in numbers more and more. And because the second stimulus package is still being negotiated between the Republicans and Democrats, nothing is set in stone yet, which means that $1,200 stimulus check number could increase because of what's going on with unemployment, as well as COVID cases happening and states starting to shut down, businesses shutting down. The latest negotiations in terms of the second stimulus package is we are not gaining any ground. There's still a lot of negotiations going on. So Mark Meadows, which is the chief of staff, he says, I'm not, optimistic that will reach any kind of comprehensive deal. He said that last night. And then Nancy Pelosi said, in, said this, I'm going to speak in animal terms. Say you are at the zoo, you see a giraffe, you see a fl flamingo. These two bills aren't mateable. I think it's a really weird visualization of a giraffe and a flamingo mating. Regardless, it seems like we have not gained any ground in terms of negotiations. The Democrats want a $3 trillion stimulus package. The Republicans want a $1 trillion stimulus package. Therefore, they're trying to negotiate, try to find some even ground. So far, the way the negotiations are going is they're basically either party is not giving or taking. They haven't come to any agreement, at least publicly. The way negotiations work usually is the person who cares less wins the negotiation. And with either one of them giving anything or helping out, it seems like we're gonna have a stalemate for a little while longer. The hardest part about this negotiation is that there are many moving parts. The Democrats are united in what they want for a second stimulus package. The Republicans, on the other hand, are divided. Some are actually for the second stimulus package that was presented by the Republicans. Another half doesn't want it at all. In regards to the Republicans who are not in favor of the Republican stimulus package, Ted Cruz says, I'm not only a no, I'm a hell no. Senator Ben Sass says there are a hundred problems with the plan. Senator Mike Brown says, in my opinion, we need to get back to the Trump economy, not the federal government trying to replace it. Then Senator Ron Johnson says, I don't want to see any new authorization for money. So the reason why this makes it more difficult is because Mitch McConnell or whoever is negotiating for the Republican stimulus package, they don't even have the right numbers in place before they can negotiate with the Democrats. So before they could come to the negotiation table, they should have an idea of what they want, what they're willing to give up. But unfortunately, that's not the case with the Republican stimulus package. Another dividing factor in the Republican stimulus package is what President Trump wants. He already gave up his payroll tax cut. He's okay with not having that. Now what he wants is a $1.75 billion FBI building. So what he says is we need a new building. It's a bad building. And President Trump is insisting on getting a new FBI building. Many of the Republican senators don't want to put $1.75 billion for the FBI building. Many Democrats don't want it, as well as the American people have spoken out 
that we don't need to spend $1.7 billion of pandemic related money, of stimulus check money to go towards a building. That money should be used towards the people and helping out during the hard times. And another thing that President Trump wants is a larger second stimulus check. So back in July 1st, which is about a month ago, President Trump said he wants a larger second stimulus check. When the Republicans released their stimulus proposal, the HEALS Act of $1,200, a lot of people were disappointed because we thought that President Trump was gonna give us a larger second stimulus check. Well, just last night, President Trump said that the second stimulus checks may be higher than $1,200. Let's go into exactly what he said. So these are the exact words that President Trump said. Kitty Orth said, is $1,200 enough? President Trump said, we're going to see it may go higher than that actually. Then President Trump said, I'd like to see it be very high because I love the people. I want the people to get it. You know, the economy is going to come back. Then he talks about the economy and job numbers, but this is a really important piece of information here. Let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. What amount for the next stimulus check do you think President Trump is referring to? $1,500, $2,000 recurring. I know Kamala Harris is still pushing for the $2,000 a month stimulus checks. I'm not sure if it'll be that, although I think that number would greatly help out a lot more Americans. So far, the way the numbers are working out with the Democrat and Republican stimulus package, they're both saying $1,200. If President Trump wants a higher stimulus package, package, that means he would have to negotiate with the Republicans first and say, hey, I want these stimulus checks to be higher. A lot of the Republicans are against a stimulus check to begin with, let alone a higher amount. So this was a bold and risky move for President Trump to double down on a larger stimulus check. He said it about a month ago, he could have just let it slide and let people forget about it or most people forget about it you know, until they got their stimulus check, but he decided to mention it again. Unfortunately, a higher stimulus check is not in the Republican stimulus package at this time. The power that President Trump has to make a higher stimulus check amount is this. So once the Democrats and Republicans are done duking it out for whatever the details are with the next stimulus package, they sign off on it, the Senate signs off on it, then the House signs off on it, then it goes to President Trump's desk. President Trump could say, hey, I'm not signing this, I'm going to veto this bill. Unless the amount for the stimulus checks is higher, I won't sign it. Let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. If President Trump were to single-handedly negotiate a higher stimulus check amount, would this increase his chances for re-election? Would this make him a hero among the people? Let me know what you think. Now, in terms of the exact dates of when you could receive a second stimulus package, currently we are this week right here, the Senate and the House are together. Next week, the House is actually going on vacation. Nancy Pelosi said that she's willing to stay and work things out, try to figure out the next stimulus package. Mitch McConnell the following week said that he is not willing to budge on his vacation time. So that means if things aren't decided over the next few days or the next week, that Mitch will go into margarita mode as well as the rest of Senate and House and who knows when we could actually get a second stimulus package. Chuck Schumer said that he is willing to negotiate 24 seven and figure out a deal. So if we could get this deal done by July 31st, according to how we had it with the first stimulus package, it took two weeks for people to actually get checks. So if we look at the August calendar here, if it were to be signed tomorrow, July 31st, that would give us this week right here, August 17th to the 21st, to potentially receive a second stimulus check. If you appreciate the time, energy, and research that went into making this video, please hit the like button. These videos take hours of time to research, film, and edit. It really helps out the channel if you hit the like button. Uh, so le now let's get into the questions you ask me. So cue ball for life always asks, are they going to retro pay us? What about multiple checks? So at this time, there is no retro pay, meaning that we would get paid for previous months of the pandemic or the shutdown. And at this time, there are no multiple checks. They're still duking it out just for this one-time payment. Next question comes from S. Young Princess Diamond Cut. She asks, I claim my adult brother and my mother on my taxes, so how much would I get if the stimulus passes? 
By the way, I think the $1,200 would be better if it was recurring and lasted the rest of the year. Even lasting three months would help. I totally agree with you. $1,200 per month would be so much more beneficial than just a one-time payment of $1,200. To answer your first question about if you were to claim your brother and mother on your taxes, so you would have had to already claim them on your 2019 taxes, then you would get $500 for each one of those dependents, $500 for your brother, $500 for your mother, and each one of them would get a $1,200 stimulus check, assuming that they are under the $75,000 income cap. This is just according to the Republican stimulus. Then Cynthia Harris asks, what about people on SSI, SSDI, and veterans? Uh, Cindy from New Jersey. Thank you for your comment, Cindy. So in terms of SSI, SSDI, veterans, they are all able to get a second stimulus check. Even if they were claimed as a dependent, adult dependents will get a second stimulus check of $1,200. Just to be clear, nothing is official yet. This is just according to the terms that are going on right now. And if you're looking for a free money opportunity, if you sign up through Webull down in the description below, you get a free stock. If you put $100 in the account, you get a second free stock that could be valued up to $1,400. If you want a third free stock, you can sign up through Robinhood. If you're curious about other ways you can make money at home just with an internet connection, if you click this video right over here, it's six ways of how you can make money from home. You could click that, it's on my second channel, Wise Sense. Or if you want more second stimulus check updates, you could click this playlist down here, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, be safe, thank you for watching.